Hi guys. This video here uh, is going to be a carburetor cleaning. I'm just going to take them apart, blow through the jets, make sure there ain't no junk in the bowls. Um, they've been sitting for a long time. Um, doing a motorcycle restoration, I guess you could say. I'm um, just getting this thing going. Uh, I got it tore apart, and I figured I'm going to take a break on the motorcycle for a second. And no, I dropped ya. That ain't gonna work. Alright, let's do this round two. Um, motorcycle project I'm doing. It's an old bike I've had laying around. I know it runs. Um, bike's been sitting for about four years now or so. Um, and I rode it quite a bit before I parked it. So, today, since I have them off and I'm going through the bike, um, like I say, this is a 1989 Kawasaki uh, 454LTD. Uh, not very popular, but uh, for what it is, it's pretty basic, it's pretty simple. So let's get into this. Um, first off, most of the gas is drained out of here. There's probably still a little something. Yep, right there. Dump some of that out. Actually, let me get a tray. I'll be right back. Alright, we're back. Put this in a bucket because there is some gas still left in here. I did not drain it all. Just fine. I'm not worried about it. Um, gas is gas. I gotta work with it anyway. So, first things first. Uh, this overflow tube um, can probably stay on. I'm not really too worried about that. This one, the main fuel. We have to get rid of that though. We need a new line. This stuff is so hard and so crunchy. It's gotta go. So we'll start with that. We'll take that off. Now it looks like this is plastic right here. So I'm gonna be very careful and just pry the edge just a little bit. And it's actually coming apart very easily. That is nice. Um, no worries there. Good. So that, that's garbage. Looks like a good clamp on there though, huh? Not bad. We'll save that. Um, next, like I say, I only want to go through these to clean them uh, to make sure they're clean, make sure all the passages are clean. I don't want to take them apart, clean the outsides and all that. Um, it's not really what this project is about. Um, and then if it is, it's later on in life. So today, what we're going to do... Uh, Pull that off of there. That little vacuum line I got plugged up. Get the old little needler nosers out. Give her a little, give her a little twitch in here. Yeah, there she goes. That's pretty good rubber. Okay. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna pull the bowls off of this thing. Oh, there's some more gas. Dump that out. <laughs> So we're going to start with one side, then we'll go to the other side. Let's start with this side first. So what we're going to do... Pull these bowls here. Now I've had these apart about five or six years ago. I did a rebuild on it, and then I drove the heck out of it. Um, I say the only reason why I'm doing this is just to make sure everything is clean. Um, there's probably some old gas that sat in there for four or five years. And might have contaminated these bowls a little bit. I'm really hoping this looks really clean. Um, it smells like some pretty old gas. Not expecting the the greatest outcome. We're hoping for the best. Alright, stuck on there a little bit. If I remember right, this is a rubber gasket. I'm just going to tap very lightly with the screwdriver on the corner edge. Very lightly. Just try to break things loose a little bit. I don't want to rip any gaskets. I don't want to break any aluminum pieces. And then, she's coming apart. See what we got here. Oh, she's sticking a little. 
part of it come off. There we go. Yeah, it did good. It did good. Um, looks like a little, little bit of something in there. Like just a varnish. But nothing too major. Easy cleaning. That's nice. Make sure that's going to set back down in there. Oh, that's going to be tough. Yeah, she might go. Okay, so that's not too bad. Take a look at these jets. Yeah, we're going to have to pull that out, clean that. That sat down in there. You can see. If you can see that or not. The uh, build up. I left, I left a little in there. And it sat there and that jet got covered in it. So we'll pull that apart. I think this little guy here slides right out. If I can get my finger up in there. Use anything for tools, alright? That might have been enough. Okay, so we're going to take the float out. It's a pin to hold the float. I'm going to get down in here and check that needle out. The needle actually looks really good. I do believe that was new when I replaced it. It's probably got a year worth of writing on it. The uh, hole looks pretty good. Just fuel level wise is up into here. I don't think it got up into that little jet. Dump some of that out. Old nasty crud. That's some yucky stuff right there. Okay, let's pull the jet here. See if that'll come out in pieces. Let's try to get a good bite on it. Don't want to break anything. I'm just I'm I'm wiggling the screwdriver, trying to just open up the passage a little bit. Get deep in there as I can. Then a little twist. She comes out. Nice. Very good. The hole's still open. I don't know if you can see that or not. Um, it's a little dirty, but it's not not bad. I can clean that up pretty pretty easily. That's good stuff. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this little tube out of here. Eight millimeter. I believe, maybe a seven, but it looks like an eight. Yep, okay. So I'm going to pull this little guy out of here. It looks really clean in here, though. Got a little, little traces, uh, you know, little stuff. Nothing bad though. Nothing bad at all. It's very good. It's very good. Yeah, she wipes right off, right clean. Look at it in the light. All the holes are free, clear. Good stuff. Good stuff. Uh, Little needle down in there. Let's see if I can shine a light down in there. I don't know if this is gonna help or hurt. It's probably gonna hurt. Wrong kind of light for it. But see down in there, she looks a little dirty. Alright. But all in all, I'm just talking about where the jets and stuff go. You know, the needle and seat and stuff. All in all, pretty clean. Look at the green gas in there. <laughs> oh man. Um, okay. I think I'm gonna try getting that little, the little jet that's way down in that hole. Let's see if we can get that out of there. Snap on makes a very very nice little regular screwdriver I use this thing a lot all kinds of stuff very durable I 
And watch, I say that and I'm going to break it. <laughs> uh, let's see here. I think that was it. Yeah. All right. Okay. Tip that back over. Should fall out. Yep. There it is. There's that little guy right there. Not bad, not bad. Blow in here a little. And then I'm gonna hold it up in the light. That there. Since it's plugged up. I see no light whatsoever in that hole. So it's a good thing I took that out. I gotta clean that one out. Completely plugged. That'll help it run a little, eh? Okay, so that's all for that side. I'll leave all that over there. I'm not too worried about side-to-side uh, -side stuff. It's the same on either. Um, not worried about it. If they were something different, different kind of carburetors, which some motorcycles are, I just dealt with one. Um, then, you know, obviously one carburetor is a little different than the other. You can't swap parts. But this one is identical. So, same jetting, same needle, same seat. Um, I believe those, I believe I replaced the needle and seat on this one um, years ago, years and years ago. So they only got about a season on them. All right. So I'm going to call this just a half-assed job. I really don't think we got to get up into the top of the carburetors. I think it's all going to be right here, right where we're working. Alright, same thing, we're just going to give a little tap. Just break things loose. Little taps, it don't take much. It might take a few of them. But it don't take much pressure. A little bit goes a long way. I can feel the the bowl moving a little bit. It's like, oh, there it is. Yep. Okay. Let's make sure the gasket is going to come off with and not rip or tear or pull too hard. And it'll come apart good. These gaskets, because they're aftermarket, little gas make them expand so it's gonna be a little tricky to get that to set back down and make sure it's down before we uh, put it back together look down there all that old gas sat in there for so long I have to clean the bottom of that out and this one too it's all greened up had gas in it maybe next time I'll drain it out Sorry, I'm gonna have to sneeze here in a second, I think. So, first thing first, I'm gonna pull this float out of here. If we can figure out which way this pin goes. <laughs> there. Needle nose out. Give it a little jerk. Should be able to get it out with fingers. There we go. That's out. See what the needle looks like. Ooh, needle is good. It's nice, clean, good deal. It's one thing I worry about needle and seats and uh, overflowing. You know, those got to be right. If that ain't right, stuff ain't working right. So, being on a motorcycle and wanting to take big long trips or any trip, not get stranded. Or get burned down, gas coming out of overflows. You guys, a little touchy there. Open that gap up a little bit. Just trying to work the screwdriver in the slot. It's a tight fit. It's good. It's almost too tight. 
but I think it's just right. Let's see if we can get it. There it goes. Good. All right. The gas coming out of that one. Wow. That jet there. I'm gonna say is plugged solid. I don't think you can see that. But you're gonna have to trust me, that one's plugged solid. There's no light coming through that, and that should be a pretty decent size hole in there. Alright, we'll pull the sleeve. See what that looks like. Too bad, it's got some green in it. All the holes and orifices are clear of debris. So just a quick little scrubbing on there will be a good. It's a good deal. Uh, let's go for that little jet down the hole on this side. See if we can get this one out. I'm gonna have to really do some cleaning on these little guys too. Be okay. I think we got her. Yeah. All right. Good stuff. Good stuff. That was us. Okay. So we're gonna tip this back over. We should drop out. Supposed to. There it is. Okay. That's what we got here. That little jet there. The side holes are clean and clear. We'll take a peek up in the light, see if we can see a hole through it. Blow in there. very slightly I see a hole which I know this hole ain't supposed to be very big but I bet it's supposed to be bigger than that all right I get my flashlight I'm gonna take a quick peek down in these holes make sure there's no residue no buildup I really want to look down in these um, you guys probably won't be able to see this because this light is totally wrong for the camera um, and it's actually wrong for this application but it's the light I have. Um, this light is extremely bright and any time that you get close to something that's uh, shiny it really reflects and hurts hurts the output of what you're seeing visually. Uh, that hole looks clean. That jet hole looks like it's okay. I'll blow some air through it. Probably be alright. There's no build up or gunk in it. We're good there. Um, where the needle goes into the seat. Um, looks like a little bit of cleaning in there would do good. But the seat, where where the needle seats into the seat, looks very clean. Looks good. Uh, I do see some debris in there. Some junk, some garbage. I think a little air, a little brake clean maybe or something. That'll help that one out. This one over here. Kind of green in there, but nothing really clogged up. Little jet. Looks okay. Alright guys, back in this carburetor. Um, I left it alone last night. I put it outside because it stunk really bad. It smelled like old fuel. Um, when I got up, I started just kind of wiping things out a little bit. It's not the greatest. Could do a little better. But there's no chunks that are going to get involved in anything. There's nothing that's going to get blocked up. Um, the jets still look like crap on the outside. But the holes on the inside are nice and cleaned out. Everything that needs to function is going to function. Um, I blew through all the ports in the carburetor. I uh, just squirted a little, little brake clean in there. 
I said, it still looks dirty, but there ain't nothing that's gonna ain't nothing that's gonna hurt anything. So I think we're good. We're gonna start reassembling this thing, and uh, I'll show you all of that. So we'll start, I guess we'll start with this one, just cause. So what we're going to need to do, we're going to put our tube back in, get that up in there. Now these don't have to be overly tight by no means, just get a little snug, just a little bit, goes a long ways. Alright, we'll put the main jet back in it. I don't know if you can see the hole in there, but it's all nice and cleaned out. I can say the jet on the outside don't look very clean, but we're not worried about that. Okay, get the screwdriver up in there. Just a little, little snug. Alright, we'll put our little jet way back down in that little hole there. Get my own little trusty screwdriver here. And again, just a little, little snug. Don't have to be extremely tight by no means. Um, I guess we go with uh, the needle now and the float. This float's going to go this way. Alright. And we can't put it this way. It ain't going to, it's too much. The bowl ain't that big. So they go down, okay? These here needles, some of them have an offset on this little retainer here, and some don't. This one don't, looks like it's about almost in the middle. Maybe move it around, it's about in the middle. So it doesn't matter which direction this is going to go, but we're going to need it facing down. So we got to put this here, strap that little strap over that, that tab there. See now, she just dangles. She just dangles on there. Okay. Oh, done fell off. <laughs> Let's put it back on. Okay. There we go. Alright, now we're going to set that down in the hole. Get it lined up in there. And she sets right in. Alright, now we got our pin. Just going to slide that in. And this one don't stop. We're just going to set it in the middle. The bowl, when it comes around, will hold that from falling out. But looks good. Everything is moving. Good deal. Alright, now we'll try to get this on. See all these gaskets? Rubber gaskets, they flare up like that when they get a little gas on them. Um, it's still above everything. Let's say this gasket was new. Um, but it just stretched out a little bit. So we're going to be extra careful when we go put this thing together. Make sure that it's in its spot. I don't want to pull it all up because the parts that are still there and stuck in there that's going to be my guide so we're going to be really careful set this down on there as we set it down on there we're going to look see if that rubber that side looks pretty smoothed out So I don't want to sit down in there too well. It's going to be tricky. This is going to be tricky. Let's see if we can set that gasket in there a little bit. Just push on it just a touch. It still wants to pop up. Oh, oh. And it went. Looks good. Looks good. Everything seated in. Put our screws in. We're going to hold this so it doesn't come back up.
Nope, not that one. She was the Phillips here. And usually with torquing anything, being a carburetor bowl, a tire, a valve cover, uh, doing heads on stuff, there's always a pattern to tighten these up. And what I do is I cross everything. Go from one side to the other. Back to the other side, back to the other side. Make a make an X across out of it. Instead of going around, it will make everything seat down properly instead of being off on one side and then you come over to the side and break something or just be off. So always remember that. Cross everything you do. Make a pattern out of it. Don't go in circles. Unless told to. There are some things. I'm sure that you need to go around in circles. And these, just a little snug. These things get really tight. You can't get them back off. Um, as you can see, maybe, uh, they're already kind of getting stripped out a little bit. You know? So, from being too tight. Alright, on to the next one. We'll get this back one here. Same thing. We'll take our tube. Stick our tube down in the main jet hole. And just a little snug. Nothing too crazy. Put our main jet in. Alright. Get our screwdriver set down in there good. Just a little snug. Nothing nothing crazy. Alright. A little jet. Stick that down in the hole. And a little, little screwdriver. Find the groove. Alright. Just a little snug. That's it. Nothing crazy. Nothing crazy. I tell you what I used for uh, cleaning out these jets and passages and holes and stuff. Welding wire. It's pretty small. It's extremely durable. And what I do is I grind it down a little bit. I put a nice little point on there and when you grind it, it gives it just a little roughness, a little grit to it kind of. And it cleans them holes out very nicely. Very nicely. Good little tip. Okay. Got our float bowls, or our floats, got the needle, All right, you see that, that's our needle, that stops the uh, fuel from overflowing, flooding out the carburetors, put that back on there, make sure that little guy moves, yeah, he's good, set that, Slide that right into there. Now it hangs, it dangles. We're going to set this in the hole. Set it down in its seat. We're going to take our pin. If I remember right, it comes through this side. Everything's moving freely. It's good. Alright, onto this bowl, same kind of deal. Gasket's kind of squished up. It's going to have to be real easy on putting this on. I'm hoping that'll go. See what happens. That side went down. So did that side. Very good. It went. You can feel it. If it's up on one side or the other, that gasket didn't sit down in there, you'll feel a squish that just, it's not good. Um, it just doesn't feel right. When it feels right, you'll know it. Everything just kind of sets down, falls into place. Um, I don't know if that's just a feeling that I can feel, being that I've been doing this for so long. Uh, something everybody can feel. Let me know. Comment.
Can you get that feeling or not? Okay, we're going to cross these up again. I say I cross everything I can possibly cross when it comes to covers and pieces that seal. Um, even water pumps and stuff on automobiles, I'll do that with. Um, manuals will tell you, you know, to kind of go around in different directions. And most of the time on a water pump, besides like a small black Chevy or something like that, um, there's a lot of little bolts that hold all that stuff together. Because like these bowls, a lot of the stuff now has a rubber O-ring in there. And sometimes paper gaskets too. But you want that squish pronounced on all sides equally and not offset. So that's basically it for this. Um, the bowls are on, I believe. I hear them working. Everything's good. Um, let's see, this thing is still really dirty. I'm not worried about the dirtiness of the outside of the carburetor as long as they function. Um, and I believe they will very well. I was going to explain something with these idle airs. I was talking about that yesterday. On these, I believe I got these ones right. Um, let's go through them. Um, and then we'll see. See where they're at. See where I have them. So this bike ran really good. They're either two turns out or two and a half turns out. That's my most common anything on motorcycles, snowmobiles. You know, it, it's pretty close range right there. It gets you in the ballpark to make it run. Um, let's see where these are at. We're going to turn it in nice and easy. There's one turn. Oh. I got these out. Not very much. So I'm about a turn and an eighth. Hmm. Let's see what this one is over on this side. One. And about the same. So we'll put that back. Huh. I don't remember doing that. Usually I turn them two, two and a half. Um. Yeah, that's, that's kind of strange that I put them in there like that. Um, on the back sides of these, if you pull these apart and you want to clean your carburetors really good, you're tearing everything apart. Be very careful. When you get these out, you'll see that's a little needle. Here, you know what? I'll pull one out just to show you. There's the needle, okay? Little pointy little sucker at the end. Now, with these, if you turn this over, you get a little spring out of there. Remember that's in there. Don't lose it. Get going. I don't know if you'll see down in there. I don't want to pull it out because I don't want to wreck it. But there is a rubber seal in there little rubber o-ring um, it seals around the shaft so nothing can get past it um, if you're cleaning these and you're blowing on these things or you're in a bath of some sort trying to clean things remember that rubber o-ring is in there you hit that thing with a little bit of shop air it's coming out it's lost you're going to need a carb kit. Um, if you can find a carb kit with that rubber. So, just to let you know on that, I'm going to put this back together. If you do a full clean, which I may, and I might do another another video on this. So they do look pretty dirty. So that's not what we're going for here though. Alright, so when you put all that in, you saw me, you would have put the spring in, well you would have put your rubber in, the spring in and then this in. And then what you do is you run them down, not hard at all, very gently. So when they stop, you do not want to squish it because it's a very little needle at the end of that thing and you don't want to damage it. See, it stopped right there. Just a nice little, just a stop. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do the same as a turn and like an eighth. There's my one. Just a little more. That's it. 
set up, put it on, she'll run. Thanks for watching. If you guys have any questions on carburetors, tuning, um, anything in general, let me know. I'll see what I can do to help you. Um, thanks for watching. Until next time.